Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to write text bound in a circular fashion inside of GIMP using paths. So in order to do this, we need to start with the ellipse select tool to create the circle, which is later going to be converted into a path, which is going to define how our text is written uh, as we convert this onto a path. So first off, use the ellipse select tool and draw a circle around wherever you want that circle to be. It doesn't need to be a perfect blue circle shape unless you want it to be. It could also be an oval or whatever. The important thing is we get the right selection that you want. So here I'm going to draw this circle roughly around the outer edges of this football. I might bring this side in a bit to make it a little bit more even on all sides. And when you're satisfied with your selection, we can convert this into a path. So to do that, we go over to the Paths panel, and if you don't see this on the right, you can always open panels by going to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and uh, Paths, or whichever other window you need to open. And inside the Paths panel, we right-click, we go to Selection to Path, which is going to take the circle selection and it's going to convert it into a path immediately. Now we need text inside of our document. I've already gone ahead and created one using the text tool. So the only thing I really want to note here about the text tool is that if you create a new line character, so right here you see how it goes to a new line because I hit the enter key uh, as doing such. Whenever you have the enter key pressed and you have a new line, if you assign it to a path, whenever it finds that enter key, it's going to start from the beginning of the path and it's going to go again. So in this case, because I have four lines, it's actually going to create four lines of text going as far around this circle as it can. Uh, and then it goes to the next line of text and creates another uh, wave around the circle, and so on and so forth. So if you don't want that effect, then make sure there's no new line characters inside of your text and it's just one long run-on line. So once you've defined your text, including the font size, what we need to do here now is right-click on the text layer and choose text along path. Make sure that in paths though, you do have the circle selection path selected because that's what it's gonna basically be assigned to. So text along path is going to take this text and try to put it around the circle, four lines here, and you can see that the lines are cut evenly, so half will go below and half will go above. But all that gets created here is a path. So this isn't actually text yet, but it is the base for what we'll create our visible text on. So next we need to go to Paths, make sure we have the new path selected, the one created from the actual text, and then we go to Layers, create a new layer here. So I'm going to make it a transparent layer, same size as our image. And back in Paths, I'm going to right-click on the text path, choose Path to Selection, and that's going to take all this space inside here and make it selectable by us. So now with this selection made, we go to the Paint Bucket tool, zoom in, we find one of these selection areas, any one of them will do, and we use the paint bucket to fill in all of these letters simultaneously. If we zoom out a bit, we'll see that our text should be visible, but to really show it, what we can do is we can hide the path and the paths window, so if we hide that, the red disappears, and what we're left with is the actual text that will show on our image. Now I will note, using this technique, the text does look a little bit smaller than it was originally written, uh, so what I would suggest is make your text a little bit oversized here, so that when you actually go and fill it in, it'll be the size you actually want. And now to clean up, we can hide our original text layer, or delete it if you want. And we're pretty much done. So we have text going around the soccer ball now, and that's how you add text in a circle inside of GIMP. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.